24th of December 2009. Sure. Um, and it was reinvent the wheel and make it square. So, can you comment on that and then also what you see as the relationship between inventiveness and freedom? Yes, I think there's a really important part to say that one of the reasons why we talk about the importance of the internet and kind of all the digital technologies that, that are part of the internet revolution but maybe don't get the same sort of attention um, is that um, they allow anyone to innovate and anyone to change the world. You don't have to already be in a position of traditional power to create something and have it spread through the rest of the world. I mean, that's an incredibly hard thing to preserve. I think we had a few years of, of having that kind of opportunity. And what we see now is that part of the challenge is the one dictators and people in power, you know, they're not going to be fooled again. They, knew, they know that there's this risk. So they um, are attempting to place controls over that kind of innovation. But the second thing is that the innovators themselves, I mean, the internet as a popular medium has now been around for a very long time. It's been around for like, you know, almost 15 years. Um, a consequence of that is that there are new people in power. And, um, and the Googles and the Facebooks of the world, even though they've come in with great, great intentions, are always going to be tempted to freeze the internet and freeze technology the way that they see it working. And so at EFF, one of the things we're constantly doing is going, okay, what is it in the current system that might stymie the next Vincent, the next Tim Berners -Lee? And sometimes it's the Vincent and the Tim Berners Lee's of the world that have the most power now to stop the next generation. I don't think they will. I think that, you know, they recognize where they come from. But you always have to keep innovation at the edges, whether that's in Syria or um, Africa or just in, you know, um, um, somebody using an incredibly cheap internet connection to start their $5 a month website and change the world. Like, that's, that's the thing you have to do. So, when I hear, like, you know, make the wheel square this time, it's, it's, it's about having the opportunity to try something that everybody else believes will fail, but you don't have to ask their permission to do it. Right? That's the great thing about the internet. It gives you an opportunity to try something without asking someone's permission. And that seems to me what freedom is about.